Stage 2 takes the kick stage to an elliptical parking orbit. Then the kick stage separates. We leave the second stage in an elliptical orbit with a low perigee, or the lowest point in the orbit. At each perigee, it dips lower and lower into the Earth's atmosphere, finally burning up on re-entry. This means we're not leaving large second stages on orbit for years to create space debris, an important point for us here at Rocket Lab. After a coast phase, the kick stage's Curie engine ignites and circularizes the orbit. Once the kick stage has deployed all payloads, the Curie engine has the ability to reignite and perform a deorbit maneuver, enabling it to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and burn up, leaving nothing in orbit but the satellite payloads. Now we're coming up on payload deploy. This animation simulates the payload deployment sequence, which will see multiple CubeSats deploy from the payload plate. All payloads are attached to Rocket Lab's payload plate, which you see here. The positioning of the CubeSats is kind of like a giant game of Tetris, where we need to keep the plate balanced, but also ensure each satellite has a clear path for deployment. It's also important to calculate the best order and timing to release the CubeSats. We can't just deploy all of them at once, as we need to provide enough spacing between each satellite in the orbit. Let's watch the rest of the simulated deployment. And there you have it, the payload deploy sequence has finished and the mission is complete.